made uh, in a number of ways. Just wondering how different you feel uh, as you were getting ready to play a game now as opposed to a year ago. Uh, I mean, my confidence level is the biggest factor. Last year, I was just a thinker. I thought a lot about making mistakes and worrying about what if this, what if that. And now I just play to my ability, and I know that my coaches and my teammates are confident in me. Like, I guess, how did you get there? What What did you, who worked with you? How did you develop into a, a different kind of a player from a year ago? Uh, everybody on my team and the coaching staff, just the whole, the whole team in general, they all just like boost me up and just let me know like I'm out there for a reason. And they always like lift me up when something bad happens. Getting an inter interception in your hands in a game, Get, yeah. in, in the game, it's, it's a you know it's a, you're playing the game and you're moving on, but right. now you've had a chance to reflect on it. How big a deal was that to you personally to pick off your first one? Uh, I mean, that was like one of the happiest moments of my life. It was just the adrenaline rush I had, and when all my teammates came and like tackled me when I made the play, it was just amazing, the best feeling ever. Hey, Gary, when you take that feeling, compare it maybe to Michigan State game a year ago. Um, was that a low point for you personally, even though you won? I mean, do you, can you reflect on that game compared to how you felt on Saturday? Uh, yeah, it's just total opposite of each other. Uh, I felt down in the dumps, and I felt like I never – I mean, I know I can get that play back, but I just kept thinking about it over and over again, and that led to more bad plays. And I know now, because I'm probably going to have bad plays in the game or so, because nobody's perfect, but I just know – after every bad play, you got to snap and clear and play the next play. How important is it for you guys to have a full week of practice and not have the press week like the last week? Uh, it helps your legs a lot. It just helps people be more fresh and be able to uh, play more snaps. But uh, either if we have a short week or a long week, we'll be ready and I'll prepare hard. Have you had a chance to look at Northern Illinois yet? They have a very powerful passing attack. You guys up for that challenge yet? Uh, yeah, I know they're a good passing team, and uh, I haven't talked to my coach yet. I have to go talk to him after this. Uh, he's going to have the breakdown for me in the film, and I'm going to watch film with the safeties here in a minute. Now he's got over 700 yards with six touchdowns and no picks. Does that kind of make you wet your uh, lips a little bit and having a chance to, to get after something like that in passing attack, especially after what you were able to do against White yeah. last week? I mean, I heard they're a good team. I don't know anything about them yet, but... I heard they're a real good passing team, and I'm ready for the challenge. You grew up in Ohio, and obviously there's Big Ten and there's Mac, but given what the Mac teams have done, we don't need Arkansas, some of the other results, I mean, how much respect do you have for, for that league and, and this program in particular? Me in particular, I respect every team uh, the same. I don't think any conference has a higher standard. I think every team is capable of doing anything. The most prepared team will always win the game.